Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumble Tutorials with Creative Final Designs. So today we're going to be working on, I think this is a 20, maybe a 22 ounce stainless steel mason jar. And as you can see, I've already painted it this beautiful seaside from Rust-Oleum. And so what we're going to do is add some pinata. All right, here we go. We're just going to take the brush and we're just going to make even nice strokes all the way through. I really want the teal to come through, so I'm not trying to overdo the white at all. But at the same time, there's, you know, this back half is not going to have the decal, so I'm not necessarily opposed. Very simple process, beginner friendly for sure. Again, just taking the inks and basically painting them on here at the bottom. Kind of liking how light that is. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper on the back side. Okay, so once you have all of the paint how you'd like it, which again was done very, very gently, we're going to take the blending solution for alcohols and we're just going to pour it. I'm using a baby wipe. So it's okay that it's wet. And I'm just going to squeeze a little bit onto the baby wipe and ever so carefully just rub. So each new section, you want to add more solution. And just find a section and just rub it in. You can see how it's making it disappear just a little bit. And where you have extreme strokes, you can take this and blend it right in. And you can do more or less. You can do it to however you like. But I wanted to kind of give it just a little bit of a, a rustic appearance. And we're going to come right back in with the mica powder. And I'm going to rub that on as well. And see how it all ties in together. Alright, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, so I already got a head start using the maple from the mica powder collection. So I, I'm just using my finger, just dipping my finger in there and then just finding a section. We'll go with it and just rub it in. Again, you can do more or less depending on your preference. Definitely giving it a little bit of a rustic dirty feel and just go all the way around Blow off any extra powder that remains. Now, I'm going to go ahead and seal this with Rust-Oleum Gloss before I epoxy this. Alright, stay tuned. We'll be right back for the next step. Hello, or we are back for the coat of epoxy and I am going to go ahead and do a glitter craze quick set. I want you to know off camera, I decided to go ahead and hit this little section right here with just a little spritz of white spray paint after having done all of this. And then I went back over that white section with the maple mica powder just to kind of make it all blend in with the rest of the theme. And this is where my decal is going to go. So I really need the decal to show up because I'm using a clear water slide. Once doing that, I did go back in with a clear seal and sealed the entire tumbler. 
Once I apply the epoxy, I will wait about 30 minutes and pull this tape off the rim because this is a quick set and in my space, it takes only about a half an hour just because it's so incredibly warm. So I don't want the tape to sit for, for any longer than it actually needs to. Hey darlings, and we are back and we are now ready to apply our super fun decal. This one I did purchase off of Etsy and I'll have the link down below for that. I've already got the section in which that I want to place it. This cup has been drying for just a little bit over two hours or so. And as you can see, I have pulled and reapplied the painter's tape at the rim because once this decal dries, we're gonna turn right around and epoxy it. So I also want to state too for this water slide, I've had a lot of comments coming in saying that they have only done one and one. So I'm about to put that to the test because I sprayed it with one matte clear spray, one Plasti Dip spray, and then I did go back over it with the matte clear spray just because also a lot of people are having issues with the glossifier allowing the epoxy to adhere to the water slide. So I just did two sprays of the matte clear and then one of the glossifier. So let's see how it works. Now I've already got my water off to the side and we're ready to apply it to the tumbler. Okay, here we go. So far I'm not really seeing any issues with the water slide itself. Uh, typically for an image this size, I honestly wouldn't even use um, Plasti Dip. However, I decided this time that I would. There's a little bit of a wrinkle here. Let me tweak that out. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what happened, but we got cut off right when I was worried about tweaking this little corner. I went ahead and used my X-Acto knife and just trimmed that off because I didn't want any lifts or anything actually darker than it should have been. So I just went ahead and trimmed that off. Everything is nice and dry. I'm super excited to say the one coat of Rust-Oleum and then, well, that was gloss, but grab the wrong one so the first coat is going to be the matte clear the second coat is going to be the plasti dip glossifier your third coat can be the matte clear boom done so much product is being saved at this point i am so excited to tell you my viewers know what they're talking about and it works no more am i ever going to do a water slide with three three and one I'm not gonna do it. I am so excited to share that with you guys. I'm really excited that I gave it a go and it worked and this cup is absolutely beautiful. So I am gonna get the epoxy mixed up and ready to go and I'm gonna add in the snow caps from AB Designs. That will be down in the description below so make sure you check that out. You can also use my code um, with AB Designs, SGOT15 and you get 15% off your entire order. All right, so let's get started. I'm super excited to get the epoxy on this. 
All right, for the snow caps, I did not add that much. Sometimes less is more. All right, darlings, thank you so much for joining me back with Everything Tell More Tutorials. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, see you soon.